Just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Ayy The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What's up you guys? It is Jericho. Welcome back to my channel. So I decided that I was just going to do a sit down video and tell you guys some content creator essentials that I use. I get people that um, always ask me questions about what stuff I use to create content. Whether that's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, it's all pretty much the same. You use the same items for um, every platform pretty much. So anyway so i'm going to be telling you guys like the cheap route you can go and then also what you can do if you want to create better content um if you just want like if you have the funds let me let me put that out there if you have the funds don't be spending your last trying to get the best of something and you don't even really know like if you really want to do it or not so we're not going to ramble on along in the beginning of this video but first of all if you're new here my name is jerica i do beauty fashion lifestyle content motherhood content um that's pretty much what we do here on this channel and that's what we're going to continue to do here on this channel and if you are an og subscriber welcome back to my channel and don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and you like the content that you're seeing hit subscribe and support me i'm trying to grow my brand i'm trying to grow my channel i've been being very consistent in the last month and a half and i'm very proud of myself if i must say so myself all right so the first thing we're going to start with obviously is a camera and like i said i'm going to tell you all the cheap way or not even cheap but the affordable way and then the higher end way so for me right now I'm shooting on the Canon Rebel SL3. This is my new camera that I purchased back in the beginning of March, actually the end of February, and I've been using this camera ever since, and I absolutely love it. It has autofocus for video, which the last camera that I have been using since I started my YouTube channel <laughs> did not. So like once I was stationary, I literally had to stay in that one spot the whole time because if I moved, then I'd be out of focus. And it was fine. It worked for me for the past, <laughs> since 2014 and um because i use eos utility so that's that makes it really easy for you to put yourself in focus so for me it worked but um if you're looking well nowadays pretty much any camera you buy is gonna have autofocus so you don't have to worry about that but um so this again this is the sl3 and the other camera i film on for vlogs is my canon g7x um i also use that when i want to do tiktoks or whatever i just turn it you know vertical but these are the two cameras that I've been using on this channel. I bought my Canon G7X in 2016 um, for my, my Vegas vlogs and I've been using that ever since. So these are the same, besides this new camera that I just bought, those same two cameras that I have been using on my channel ever since. But um, for the affordable option, you can just use your phone. If you have an iPhone or any of these Android phones, like the newer Android phones, don't be using these old, old Android phones that are gonna have you looking like play figures. <laughs> don't use those mm -mm. so pretty much everybody these days has either an updated iphone or an updated android and they all shoot in full hd which is 1080p at 60 frames per second that's what you want to shoot in 60 frames per second if you want your videos to be high quality now if you're vlogging you can also shoot in 60 frames per second but if you want it to look more like a movie you can shoot in 24 frames per second which i've done in the past the, the more expensive option is the cameras the more affordable option is your phone because everybody pretty much has a phone and you're already using that phone anyway um the only drawback to the phone is the storage I have an iPhone 11 right now and I think my storage is 64 gigabytes and when I tell you I'm constantly having to delete things off of my phone in order to create content and it is so annoying. The second thing you need, the most basic thing that you need honestly is a tripod. I use one heavy duty tripod for my videos. Um, this is the tripod that I have it on. I honestly don't even know the name of it. <laughs> it's just a really sturdy tripod. So for your your DSLR camera, which is what I'm filming on, you wanna go ahead and get a good sturdy tripod. I think I paid like $40 for this tripod a few years ago, um, and it works for me. Like obviously there are better tripods and more expensive tripods, but what I'm saying is don't go and buy a $9 tripod to put your DSLR on. If you're gonna spend seven, eight, nine hundred dollars on a DSLR camera, don't go and buy a nine dollar tripod for it to sit on. Okay, um, just just go ahead and spend at least forty dollars. Um, and Amazon honestly has some cheaper options too, um, that may be sturdier, more sturdier than a nine dollar uh, tripod because those things are so flimsy. 
and I just feel like if you're going to invest the money in a good camera, I wouldn't waste your investment by getting a super flimsy looking tripod, especially if you're going to be shooting out, you know, like in public or whatever, and you're on concrete and things, you definitely want to get a sturdy tripod. So, um, and also I shoot on a different tripod. If I'm doing like TikTok content, I shoot on this, it's like a monopod. Um, so I insert a picture in here of what I mean. But I bought this specifically for when I'm doing like days in the lives or when I'm filming TikToks because it's it takes up less space than a tripod because when you open up a tripod, you got the legs, they come out and they just take up a lot of space. But this other tripod, it's just one pole and then three legs come out of the bottom. So you kind of save a little bit more space when you use that you know, for moving it around because you're constantly going to be moving things around when you're filming TikToks. So that's why I got that second tripod. And I think I paid maybe $19, $20 for it. It's nothing super sturdy, but I, I really only use my phone on it with a phone mount and um, my Canon G7X, because that camera is super light, so it can hold that as well. But that's pretty much it for I use for tripods. I don't have a trillion different tripods. You don't need a trillion different ones. Just get you a good one and then one that's that you can use to film like TikToks and things with uh, with the phone mount and now they have tripods with built in built in phone mounts so I'll put one of those below in the description bar if you don't want to buy like a separate phone mount piece so the next thing I think you need well obviously you need um, to create content is a video editor and again this is one of those things where they've made it really easy for us these days because when I first got started on YouTube all I had at the time as a beginner is Windows Movie Maker and y'all when I say I hate Windows Movie Maker I hate Windows Movie Maker. It is the most basic, bland, you can't do nothing to it type of editor. It literally does the basics, like adding titles and cutting out things that you don't want in your video. But that's about it. Like, you can't do nothing fancy on there. Um, not that I was trying to do the most, but I still wanted to have a little bit more creativeness that I could have used. And all I had was Windows Movie Maker because it was free. And that's all I had at the time. So... Uh, but now I use window, window, sh I mean, window, <laughs> I use Wondershare Filmora 11 and I started off with Filmora maybe six or something. I, I can't remember, but like every year it's like they get a newer version. You can just download the new version, but now they got Filmora 12 and that one is considered a paid, um, like you got to pay like monthly to use it or yearly or something. I don't know. But I already bought the lifetime subscription to the regular Filmora and I do not plan on upgrading. So I'm just going to be using Filmora 11. And I feel like Fil Filmora is great for beginners. Um, it kind of guides you through what you can do. You can be creative with it. And now they have like, we can get a monthly membership to where you can get like the royalty features. I personally don't use that. Um, but if you're somebody who really want to go all out with your videos, you could pay. I think it's, I don't even know how much it is a month, but that's what I use for my videos. You could also, uh, edit videos these days. You can edit videos on your iPad. You, people use iMovie. Um, you could use CapCut. You could use, uh, what was the other one? Splice, which I was using that till they made it a paid version. <laughs> um, but for YouTube videos, I use Filmora. For my TikToks and Instagram reels and stuff, I use CapCut. But then I'll add like text and stuff inside the in individual apps to try and trick the system, if you know what I mean. Um, but that's really all I use. And like I said, these days there's so many free editors, you really don't have to invest in one. The next thing you need is lights. <laughs> so this is one of those things where um, it has an affordable option and a higher end option. Obviously you could just film with natural light and keep it free 99. So just film in front of a, a window, um, wherever you get good natural lighting in just set up shop there with your camera on your tripod or your phone on your tripod and you're good to go see god gave you natural light you don't have to worry about buying any lights but if you're somebody like me who can never film during the day you need to invest in lights and for me i use a ring light um i've used i've had this ring light since 2017 it's still going strong praise the lord and let me just say this light here is my only source of light for this video right now and it's doing a pretty decent job um but in most of my videos i use two lights um 
and I use my ring light and then an additional light. So, um, but there's also been a time where I use two softbox lights when I have the space, but in, in where I am right now, I don't have the space to use all three of my lights. Um, when I did, I had my ring light in the middle and two softbox lights like shining on me from the sides to give it like this even um, lighting look and it just made everything bright and even. And that was my my ideal setup but for right now <laughs> my other light that I bought which I can just show y'all real quick is this light here I have it on a tripod this light just recently died it needs to be recharged so I just you need a minimum of two lights in my opinion if you're going to be filming at night you need one like you sit one here and the other one here so kind of like cat a corner to your face and if you put if you use them both at the same time and you put them at the right the right distance it'll shine right on your face and everything will be even and well lit so two lights minimum but if all you can afford is one i would highly recommend a ring light which is what like i said this is what i'm using right now just one light a ring light um they're pretty affordable on amazon um there's so many different kinds you can choose from now back when i got mine all there really was was the newer or newer i don't even sure how to say it brand but now there's so many different kinds and you can even find them at target and walmart so there's just so many more to choose from now. Like they're making it easy for y'all now. So uh, that's it for lighting. Now we're gonna go into the stuff that you need that's not absolutely necessary, but will make things easier or better for you. The first thing is a memory card reader. Um, for me, most computers, these new computers don't have memory card reader slots on the computers. They just have a ton of USB slots. So get a memory card reader. I had to buy one. Um, you know, just so you can transfer your files from your from your camera to your computer. That's pretty much it. It's pretty basic and standard. But if you're trying to be extra and do the most, get a memory card reader for your phone. And this is something I just, not even recently, but in the last few years I've purchased because sometimes when I take photos on my camera, I want to be able to just transfer them automatically to my phone. So I bought a memory card reader for my phone. It's literally white and small. Um, you just stick it into the charging slot on your iPhone, put your memory card in there and it'll show up under files in your files app. Um, you can go in there and download any photos or videos straight to your phone and you're good to go. So that is really something you don't need, but I just feel like it's something that just, you know, makes things, you know, a little bit more easier. Next thing I want to tell you guys about, it goes along with the memory card reader. It is a camera adapter reader for your phone. So it is a, the same type of situation. You plug it into the, the bottom of your phone, um, but mine has a, like a USB slot on it but you can plug your camera into it. And for me, I, I bought it because I wanted to use it to plug in a external microphone into my phone from when I'm doing voice, vo vo <laughs> when I'm doing voice, why can't I talk? When I'm doing voiceovers for TikTok or Instagram, you can just use your AirPods, honestly, or just not even use any microphone at all for your voiceovers. You don't really have to do the most with this. But for somebody who's trying to up their quality, um, there's microphones that you can buy that plug directly into your phone. Or you can be like me, if you already had an external microphone, which we're going to get to next, you can plug that into your phone with the USB port that you just bought that plugs into your camera. I mean, plugs into your phone. And now you got a professional microphone for your voiceovers on your phone. So I've been doing that and this, the quality is amazing. I figured why spend the extra money on a microphone for my phone when I can just use my professional microphone that I already bought. So it just depends on what you want to do. It's just an option in case you want to take things up a notch and, and you know, improve the quality of your voice on voiceovers. Highly recommend you do that. All right, you guys, next thing, like what I mentioned before is an external mic. Obviously when you're filming on your iPhone or your camera, it all it has a built-in microphone in it automatically and these do an okay job. But if you're somebody who's trying to take your quality up a notch, I highly, highly, highly recommend investing into an external microphone. Now these days you have a lot to choose from. Um, for me, I decided to choose an external microphone that plugs directly into my computer which makes things a little bit harder for me when I'm editing um, because I have to line up the audio in my editor with the audio that's on the camera. But if you don't want to do that extra work, which it, don't, it literally takes me like five, 10 seconds to do now because I'm just, I've done it so much, it really doesn't bother me. But you could just buy like one of those Rode mics and there's so many different other kinds of brands out right now, but, but the microphone goes directly on top of your camera and it picks up your voice um, that way it's automatically filmed 
with the audio matching up to what you're saying. You don't have to worry about going into your editor and matching everything up and doing all that extra work. It's already going to be done for you. So for me, this is the microphone that I use. It's just a pink microphone and it changes colors as I'm talking. I don't even know if I can see the, the colors that's changing on it. And it's pink. I bought it because it was super cute. <laughs> um, it was very, it was the aesthetics for me for this microphone. Um, I have been using the Blue Snowball microphone to do my, um, you know, as my microphone for my YouTube videos for a while, a long time. And that died on me a few months ago. So then I invested in this thing here. As you can see, it's different colors. Um, and this microphone, the quality, I mean, y'all hear it, y'all hear how it sounds. Um, and it's just super cute. I think this thing, it was like 40 or $45. And when I tell you for that cheap amount that I pay for this microphone, it sounds like a professional microphone. So you really don't got to spend two, $300 on microphones these days. Like with the technology, they've really done a good job at making things super high quality for less. And that's pretty much all that I have for content creation, just your basic things that you need and then a few other things that you need to take things up a notch. If I miss a few things, um, I can just leave, I'm, I have them down in the description bar just for like the extra things that you might wanna try. But if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Lemonade. I am Jerica Sincere on every platform, so make it easier for y'all. You can find me anywhere with that name. And if you're somebody who's looking to start con content creating in 2023, it's never too late to get started. Just use these items that I mentioned and like the affordable options, if that's where you are right now, use those items, post yourself, don't be scared, don't care about what anybody thinks don't worry about looking stupid these days people know what content creation is even if they don't consider it to be a career they won't be saying that when you're making thirty thousand dollars a month forty thousand dollars a month fifty thousand dollars a month not, say, not saying that that happens for everybody but it's it can be done where you can make a full-time income doing content creation so if that's something you want to do just do it don't let anybody talk you out of it but that is it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.